eighth grade, as leaders of the middle school, have been working in small groups to explore leadership in the BFS community. Isaiah, Talia, Anna, and Julian interviewed some school leaders to see what they could learn from them. Um, thank you so much for letting us interview you today. Thank you for asking. Do you want to say a little bit about your position at BFS? Sure. Um, I'm Karen Edelman. I'm the Director of Advancement. And I am, at BFS, advancement means all. I'm responsible for all the fundraising and communications at the school. So first, what does leadership mean to you? Uniting a group of people, inspiring and uniting a group of people around a common mission. I also think there's a really important element of um, understanding personal growth when it comes to leadership, that I think that it's important for everybody to realize that you can't be a good leader um, without growing yourself. Um, how do you think your background affects your function as a leader? I think that my background has a lot to do with my leadership because in education, my role is really to serve as your parent in the school. That's the way I see my role. Um, it's, a, it's a Latin term called in locus parentis, which means in absence of the parent, I, I see myself in that role. And I see my job is to make sure that every kid is getting what they need, whether it's academically or socially, emotionally, every day, all day. There's many, many factors that cause a student to not be having a successful day, mm -hmm. whether it be for their behavior, whether it be for their academics. You never really know. And sometimes what you see on the surface is not really what's going on in somebody's heart and what's going on in their mind. So I'm always trying to be mindful of that because when I was in school, you know, in the 70s, right, we were just told to just do what you were told to do. And that was it. And no one really asked us how we were feeling or what was going on. So when I, when I think about how I treat you all and how I interact with you all, I'm always trying to be mindful of what, might, what else might be happening, whether it be something in your personal life, with your friends, your parents. I always want to consider that. How do you consider yourself to be a leader inside and outside of BFS? That's a good question. I think it's being a leader by example. Because when I was young, there were examples that I looked up to. And realizing that now I'm in that position and there, there are people who look to me for that same guidance. What does leadership mean to you? It's for me that you're holding yourself accountable in the way that you would want um, the people that you're leading um, to behave, to think, um, to act, and so you're um, basically a model. So how do you feel like leadership connects to your job and how do you feel like you're a leader in our community? Mm -hmm. I'm the person who helps shape the the, at least the student body and the family's uh, community. Um, and so any anything that has to do with that, I'm leading that particular effort with, of course, um, uh, a team of people who are also leaders. So do you feel that leadership connects to your job at BFS? And if so, do you feel that you're a leader in our community? Uh, I think, yes, definitely. I think that um, when you're doing fundraising and you're, um, and you're doing communications, you need to be tied to your mission. And you need to inspire people to want to be part of your community and what's special about your community is your mission. You're very assertive and you're vocal, which are uh, important qualities to be a leader, but we've also noticed that you take on a more quiet position. I'm an introvert by nature. So it's easy for me to kind of sit back and observe. And that helps me in my decision making because when, I, when you're sitting and you're listening, you get to hear everything, right? Sometimes folks just immediately just kick in and start talking. I always want to hear everyone's voice and then that helps me make a better informed decision. A part of it is intentional, that I'm quiet and reserved, and a part of it is just my nature. Um, what was the moment where you really felt like you were being a leader? I think it was the first year that I was working here and it was a, I think it was an altercation here on the street. It was at the end of dismissal and, at, and it was a split second decision whether I jump in and try to break up the altercation or do I try to keep all of the, all of the students inside, which I, I elected to try to keep all the students inside of the building. And that there was like the first really that I really felt like okay, this, they're going to depend on me to do this. So it, I need to take the lead. I actually have one more question. Yeah. Um, what was a moment where you felt you really took initiative? 
we meet students who are incredibly powerful, but it's hard to convey to other people based on maybe um, blips in their um, your, their past um, experiences or their um, uh, reports uh, that where other people don't see what we see when we meet them. Um, and so there have been like a few situations where we've had or I've had to really push people um, to think broader than what's on paper um, where you know because we are a school that sees light in everyone um, and so sometimes that's not as apparent in an application or what is traditionally seen as an application sometimes um, I have to like with kids that I really believe in and I know I could see it that they'll be amazing here at Bro Brooklyn Friends I have to like you know talk to their um, their teachers, their principals, other people who know them so that I can get as much information to share with the committee in um, some ways to try to convince the committee. Um, what are some leadership traits that you see in students at PFS? Um, leading by example. Um, I definitely think that uh, Brooklyn Friends students do an excellent job in discussing issues around social justice, service learning. I mean, I have to tell you, I was really proud last year when we had the, uh, the gun violence march mm -hmm. and the middle school students said, hey, we need to do this. Yeah. You know, we need to participate in this. And that was organic. That was student driven and student led. And we hadn't planned as a school to do anything, but because you all were so insistent that we participate and that we, our voice be heard, we participated and it became a really, really big event. Mm -hmm. And one of our students spoke at that event, right. which was amazing. Thank you, students and colleagues, for your insights into leadership. This is Loris, reporting for The Life, and remember to let your leadership speak.